sphere of influence or circle of influence, what is it? Get this question every now and then in real estate. Um, basically, as straightforward as you can be, it's your personal database. Um, people that know you or you know them and you're comfortable having conversation with, which is the most important part. It's not a bulk database or emails you've collected over time. This is people you're comfortable having a conversation with um, because you're going to be staying in touch with them on a monthly basis and at a minimum um, having a personal phone call or face-to-face -face meeting, coffee, um, client party, whatever it might be every quarter. Um, so if you're doing it correctly, you're staying in touch effectively, meaningful as their professional, you should be able to expect a 10 to 20% return, um, in the form of repeat clients or referrals. Um, so if you have a hundred people in there, um, you should be able to expect 10 between 10 and 20 deals, depending on your market, your turnover rates, um, the quality of your list, um, your market, like I said, but basically you're staying in touch with them. These are people you're comfortable having conversation with. Maybe it's um, obviously past clients, um, people from a profession before, coworkers, um, anything along those lines, but you are comfortable having conversation with these people. You're going to be touching base with them. Um, they know you, you know them. That's your sphere of influence, circle of influence, personal database. Um, hopefully that answered your question. Um, happy to answer any other questions. Um, hopefully got some value. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk soon. Thanks.